Now if there ever comes a time when you're viewing the results of your query where you get duplicate records there and you just want to see unique records, for example, when I come up here and click on the Run button, I have three fields here, the customer name, book title, and sales date. Now what would make this record, or records in this uh, query here, the output, duplicates, is that if I had the same value in the customer name, also with the same value there, have a corresponding same value for the book title for that customer, like Disney Company, well, let's look at this one, getting the law of attraction. I also have Disney Company getting the law of attraction. So up until this point, they're duplicate. But because we have another field, these three fields make up a record, at least for the output view here. So you can see that this one was purchased in August and the other one was purchased in April. So it's not duplicate. But if I get rid of this uh, sales date field, go to the design view, come up here, click on that gray bar. So I can go ahead and select everything below it, the entire column, then hit the delete key to remove it and go back to my data sheet view. You can see I still have the same results with the Disney company, duplicate values here, and then over in the next field, in that same record, for that company, we have duplicate values here, you know, getting the law of attraction, getting the law of attraction. So in other words, I'm trying to create a query now where I want to go ahead and just pull up all the book titles that each company has purchased. I don't need the transaction data or anything, and I don't need to see two or more copies of it. So to go ahead and change this and omit those records that contain the same values, you know, Disney Company, Disney Company, getting the law, getting the law, and displaying only one, go back to the design view and pull up the property sheet for the entire query. By coming up here on the design tab to the show hide group and clicking on the property sheet, or just come up here and right click in a blank area and go down to properties and make sure that the selection type is for the entire query because if I have a field down below that's selected it's the field properties well for the selection there so to bring up the properties for the entire query after you bring up the property sheet just go ahead and click in a blank area in the top section and you can see it's the properties for the entire query come down here you see where it says unique values the defaults no double click to set it to yes and it will take care of that problem in other words the definition of the unique value here when you select it is to omit records with duplicate data in the fields displayed in the data sheet view or to put it another way we only want to see records in which the values of all the fields displayed in the data sheet view are unique not just one field all of them right now we just have two fields customer name and book title and remember we had the Disney company which we had duplicated there's one field and then we had the book title for the same company listed twice getting the law of attraction to work for you so it's all fields if it sees duplicates in both those fields in uh, two or more records, it hides all of them except for one by turning this to yes. Let's go ahead and click the Fun Run button. And there we go. Disney Company, getting the law of attraction to work for you. Only listed once. No duplicate records here. Going back to the design view and selecting the top section here so I can look over in the property sheet. And then I can go ahead and double click that to know. Below that, you have unique records. And the unique record, when you want to use that, double click it to change it to yes, is used to return on unique records based on all fields in the underlying data source, not just what you pull over or up in the output view, the data sheet view, you know, by adding the fields down below in the grid, but in all the underlying tables. So unique values is what we want to see applies to just what we see in the output view. Unique records will apply to all the records, not just those that are being pulled and shown in the data sheet view. And you'll notice that both of them can be known at the same time. But if I double click on the unique records and then I go up and double click on the unique values, neither one of them can be yes. It's either one or the other. One final note is that you can't make any changes in the data sheet view. Well, why not? Well, when it's set to unique values and you come up here and you click the run button, it's just a snapshot of the data. It doesn't return the complete set of records. So it's not safe or accurate as you won't know what record you're updating. So with the feature turned on, unique values, and I come in here and I try to delete or type, notice down below in the stat bar here it says the record set is not updatable. That is until I go back to the design view, click in a blank area to pull up the property sheet for the query properties and change it back to double click no. And then click on the run button and then come down in here, hit the backspace and delete and make changes. And in any case, I'm gonna hit the escape key so it doesn't save my uh, change. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.